Okay, so all of you are students. Are you busy? What is busy? Mm -hmm. What in English? What is busy? No time. Have a lot of work, right? No time. Have a lot of work. So, are you busy as students? Yes, you're busy. Why? What do you have to do? Projects. Projects. Work. What else? Study. Homework. Yeah? You have to do maybe sometimes homework. Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes need help? All the time. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes need help. So here, what does this say? An assistant can help. Assistant. Assist. How do you know assist? Where have you heard it? In football. What does that mean to assist in football? Help friend score a goal. Yes. Help your friend score a goal. Assist means help. An assistant can help. As an assistant is a person or a thing that can help you. Today we're going to talk about assistance. First, there are three kinds of assistants. What is the first one? A personal assistant. Look at the photo. What do you see in the photo? What can she do? She can do everything. For example, she can. She can make tea. What else can she do? She can make a table. She can. Make calls, use the phone, answer the phone, get information. She can make a schedule. Good. Yes. Now look at this one. Now look at the second photo. What is that? A virtual assistant. It's like the same assistant but online. Yes. A virtual assistant is a personal assistant, but online. We know what a personal assistant can do. So can a virtual assistant do everything that a personal assistant can do? No. What's something a virtual assistant can't do? Make a coffee. Make coffee. Get bread. Get bread. Yeah, go to the market for you. Get you exactly. Something. Get you something. Excellent. The virtual assistant he can order them, but he can make them himself. Good, he's point. Not around. Good point. A virtual assistant can order them for you, but can't give them to you. Today we're going to talk about the third one. What is the third kind of assistant? A voice assistant. A voice assistant. I think all of you have a voice assistant. Yes. All of you. Built in, in, the phone. in your phone. What are some voice assistants you know? Siri, Alexa, Google Now, Cortana, Bixby. That's great. All of you have voice assistants in your phones. So now, let's look at these voice assistants. What is the first one? Do you know? It's Siri, yes. Who is Siri made by? By Apple. So Siri is? Made by Apple in 2011. Ooh, yes. Siri was made, that's passive voice, by the way. Siri was made by Apple in the year. So let's use this to make new sentences. So the first one, Siri, was made by Apple in 2011. Now, let's try the next one. What is the voice assistant called? Yeah, what is the voice assistant called? 
Is this Cortana or Alexa? Cortana. This one is Cortana. Mm -hmm. So together, let's make a sentence. Cortana was made by Microsoft in 2014. And look who is listening. Who is listening? Cortana is listening. <laughs> All right, let me clear that out. Uh, how about the next one? Alexa, Alexa. Alexa? was made by Amazon in 2014. Was made, everybody, by Amazon in 2014. Good, how about the next one? Google Assistant was made by Google in 2016. And the newest one? Bixby was made by Samsung in 2017. Does anyone use Bixby? I have a Samsung, but I don't use Bixby. How about you? Does anyone have a Samsung? You have a Samsung phone. Do you use Bixby? <laughs> Why not? Really? Oh, I use my voice assistant, assistant often. How about you? Do you have a voice assistant? You don't like it. Why not? Just don't like it. Ah. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Do you have Samsung phone? Does anyone have a Samsung phone? I do. You do. Do you use Bixby? Okay. Because I have an old phone, and the talking to that voice assistant, asking him to do something, takes a very long time. So I prefer to do it myself. I see. It's faster to do it yourself than asking your assistant to do for it. Me it is, because I have an old phone, but for anyone else, talking to that voice assistant takes uh, like a few seconds only. It can be helpful if you are doing it something that takes a long time, like call that number for me. Or like do that specific thing for me, but like having, I don't know how to say that, it's like open Instagram for me. If you actually go and open it yourself, it takes much less than uh, talking to that voice assistant, so it depends on what you want. That's a good point. Are voice assistants faster or slower than you? Slower. Ah, some people think slower. It's faster because it's a robot and it was programmed to do that thing. It's not like our brain. So if they're faster, but you said it's slower. Because you have to talk to it. Exactly. What you want to do takes much, much longer than what, it, what he does to do that job. Like you talk for like five seconds, like, hey, Siri, open Instagram for me. That takes a few seconds. But for Siri itself, it takes like 0 0.1 in a million seconds of, I don't know, the numbers to open that uh, up for you. You're correct. Now, let's think about the usefulness of apps. If you can open Instagram like this, and it's open, the time that it takes you to ask your assistant to open Instagram is much longer. So are voice assistants useful? Yes, yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. In the car. Ooh, that's what I was looking for. When are they useful? They're useful in the car. Explain more. Because uh, when I drive, I can't uh, take my phone and go to Instagram or call someone. Uh, I mm -hmm. should park and call so that I can say, hey, Google, call anyone and it will call. Very good point. Very good point. Any other times when an assistant could be useful. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes I, I use Siri uh, when I don't sleep. Uh, just uh, yeah. her, uh, wake me up at uh, 7 o'clock and she, she mm -hmm. and he'll uh, wake me up. Yeah, maybe before you go to bed, you plug your phone into the charger, yeah. right? And then you don't need to get up and to set your alarm, you can just tell Siri to set an alarm. Good, good. Okay, now, how do we, t how do we activate our voice assistants? Mm -hmm. 
We need to activate them. How do we activate, or I'm sorry, what do we activate when we say, hey, Google? We activate the Google Assistant, yes. What do we activate when we say, hey, Siri? Activate Apple, yeah. Alexa? Amazon? Hey, Cortana. And ah, here, Cortana. Cortana's listening. Okay. And what about hi, Bixby? Samsung. Excellent. Now, we've talked about the first one. Now, let's talk about, um, actually, we've talked about the first and second. Now, let's talk about number three. Okay. Number three, which voice assistant is the best? Google. I don't think any of them is the best one. They all provide value. Okay, so they all are useful. They all provide value. Mm, for you, which one is the best? Google. Google. Why do you choose Google? Because it's a bigger, uh, bigger base than Apple or because, the, because Google has the Google search engine. So that will be better than Siri. It's need to go to Google and search, but uh, Google Assistant will be faster. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I use uh, Apple Assistant to Siri uh, because all my devices are Apple. So when I use Siri, it's connected all of my devices. So if I told her to load the uh, the lights is going to do. All my home is connected by Apple. Excellent. So if I use Siri, it's better for me than using uh, any other voice Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to look at some specific functions or specific things that different voice assistants can do. What four voice assistants do you see? Siri? Siri? Bixby? Google Assistant and Alexa. Okay, so we have four voice assistants. And yes, no Cortana in this one. So which one is the best? Well, like you said, it's up to the individual person, but but we can see what they can do. We are going to start with. Okay, the first one is set an alarm for 8 a.m. Which ones can do that? All of them can do it. So Siri can set an alarm, Bixby can set an alarm, Google Assistant can set an alarm, and Alexa can set an alarm. Okay, let's check it. All of them can. What's the next task? Delete the alarm. Who can do that? All of them can do it? Okay, maybe Alexa can't? Okay, let's see who can do it. All of them can. What's the next one? Open the gallery. What is a gallery? Uh, it's the app on your phone where you keep photos and videos. Okay, open the gallery. Which, one, which voice assistant can help? All of them except for Alexa again. All of them? All of them? Let's see who can do it. Oh, one voice assistant can't open the gallery. Who is it? A oh, poor Alexa. Oh, no. Alexa can't open the gallery. Let's try the next one. What do what information do they want? The weather. So how is the weather? Who can tell you the weather? Yeah, they can just search for it, right? All of them can ask about the weather. And also the weather tomorrow. Everybody can do it. Now, open up Instagram. We're asking, 
we're asking our voice assistant to open an app, a social media app. Who can do this? I think all of them? It's an easy task. Yeah, we do it often. Hey, Siri, open Instagram, like this. All of them can do it. Let's see. You are correct. All of them can do it. Now, can they find a specific page or profile on your social media? Not all of them. Because it's hard? Needs a bigger database. Good. All right, let's see the question. Open up Eminem on Instagram. So first, do you know Eminem? Yes. Of course, me too. Um, I need a volunteer. Does anyone use Siri? Oh, come on up, come on up. All right, I use Samsung, so I have, actually I don't use the Bixby function, but I use Google Assistant. So it's iPhone, <coughs> Siri versus Samsung with the Google Assistant. All right, first let's try open up Instagram. We know both can do it. Okay, you can ask Siri. Hey Siri, open Instagram. Okay. So open it. Hey Google, open Instagram. Oh, my password. <laughs> and here is Instagram. Now let's do the test. The test is, can our voice assistants find a specific page? Okay, I'm gonna close Instagram. Me too. Okay, it's closed. Now, I'm going to ask Instagram to open Eminem's page. Hey Google, can you open up Eminem on Instagram? And what do you see? Google can open a page on Instagram. Let's check Siri. Hey Siri, open Eminem on Instagram. It can. What did it, what did it do? It can open Instagram only. It can only open Instagram. Yes. Ah. So who wins? Google Assistant. Google Assistant. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's look at some things that voice assistants can't do or shouldn't do. Let's look at the first one, call a friend on their birthday. Now, can voice assistants dial or call people? Yes, yes. yes they can. What if your voice, voice assistant calls your mom on her birthday. Hello, this is Siri. Um, happy birthday from Ziad. I think it can using I don't know. it shouldn't. Oh, we have it can, it can't, and it shouldn't. It can. It can. Honestly, it can, but it shouldn't. it shouldn't. Why not? Because you are supposed to remember her birthday, not your phone. How would your mom, would your mom like a call from Siri? <laughs> no. <laughs> it would be so weird, right? Right? Yeah. Um, how about um, listen to a voice message? Can, can't, or shouldn't? What do you think? It can, but shouldn't. Why not? You're what do you think? Why not? Because this is privacy. I'm not Siri doing this job. It's you. You can't answer. Not Ah, I see. So it should be you, not Siri. Why not? Why can't Siri listen to your call? Listen to your message. 
because mm. my it's my privacy. Oh, privacy. Guess what? Siri knows everything. <laughs> Google knows everything. Your voice, your voice assistants, they know everything. They know, they can probably find your passwords. Probably. Yeah, they probably have them. Um, now let's go down to homework. Because your students, you have homework. Can a voice assistant do homework? Yes. Depends on the kind of homework. Yes. What about math homework? It's like if, if it just some, <laughs> of course it will do it. But mm -hmm. if uh, something complicated, it can't. Okay. Let's say I give you English homework. Translate. Just translate. Word, word, word. It's, it's kind of okay. It's too complicated for the voice assistant. Just word by word. No, no it's can. Yeah. Just translate for Arabic. Should I try? I'm just going to unlock it. Hey, Google, what is voice in Arabic? Voice in Arabic is so. so. <laughs> Did Google do my homework? <laughs> oh, was that Cortana? Yeah. Oh, I have Google doing it here and Cortana doing it here. I have two voice assistants working for me at the same time, because this one is my Google assistant. They can do some things for homework, right? Should they? They shouldn't, because you are meant to do it, not them. No, shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't ask your voice assistant. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. I know you just did this lesson, and you guys are good.